Hello, everybody, and welcome to my baking tutorial on how to bake an apple pie, but we're going to do it from scratch. And if you're familiar with baking, you would know that the first step in doing that is that you have to invent the universe, I.O. We're doing a new mod pack solo playthrough here. It looked very cool, and I thought we would give it a try. We start in nothingness, and then we have to build out the universe or something like that. The actual goal, well, on top of baking and apple pie, which actually exists in the mod pack and doesn't seem terribly far away, is to defeat the wither storm, I believe is sort of the final thing. Um, so let's check it out. The Hyper Advanced Universal Shop. Uh, you can get coins. Coins are used for trading with villagers. Right click in the store. Right click the coins to store in your personal money bag. And cost of items are higher depending upon rarity. Cool. This mod pack is made by Cryptic. And thanks for playing it. Well, thanks to him for making it. Um, you can only use Ultimine while holding a tool. Quests with an explanation point are checkmark quests and contain important information. So make sure to read them. EMC values. I think we get a Philosopher's Stone early here, so you don't have to be like, just make a Philosopher's Stone forehead. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Creepers won't destroy blocks. Sleeping speeds of time. I don't know if it's like Terraria and, um, and then lore. Make sure to like the video for a brand new mod pack. Help us reach our target goal of one like to get things started. As the stars twinkled above me, I felt a sense of of calm wash over me. I had been lost in space for what felt like an eternity, drifting aimlessly through the void, but now I had a purpose. The Keepers had appeared to me in a vision, tasking me with creating my own universe where the laws of physics and laws of magic coexist in a perfect harmony. I was filled with a sense of responsibility, knowing that the fate of countless multiverses rested on my shoulders. I set to work, using the power of my mind to shape the swirling gases and particles around me into the building blocks of a new world. I crafted galaxies and nebulae, designing each one with care and precision. Well, we should probably check box all the things and then proceed to, you're all set, have fun. What is this? A temp pad. Bro, we're in the freaking TVA. I am Kang the Conqueror or something like that. What do we have? Quest book, we're already, I can just yeet that. Uh, welcome to the void, by the way, everybody. Um, this place is kind of gnarly looking. Also, temp pad, literally the TVA. Okay, might have might have seen this when I was in the test world, but still, like, it's kind of crazy. And then I think, like, run program, new location, add new location, spawn, add location, and then, hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, so if we run program here, spawn, <laughs> that's so crazy, dude. Oh, my God. Welcome to the universe. You <laughs> Newton's first law in action. See you later. Bye bye. I can access the quest book with a keybind. Act nulla. Novum universum. Okay, what do we have here? Quarks and stuff. Read me. In order to obtain gluons, different quarks and electrons, simply mine the nothingness block with a void harvester. Here you go. You need this. Don't expect too many handouts. Just make a philosopher stone, idiot. Gonna get it, gonna get it, gonna get it. Okay, there we go. Philosopher stone. Now I have set a keybind for this thing because I think it's the way that we actually are able to craft early. So that gets us a crafting grid. I think I like put the philosopher stone in the crafting grid of the philosopher stone. It's like being able to open a backpack and put the backpack inside the backpack and then close it. <laughs> Um, so I gotta right click the coin. Yeah, to put it in my bag. Let's go. That's sick. Okay, so with the void harvester, I can break the universe. Oh my god. Press right button to pick down quirk. Um Oh yeah, it's it's so it's like RL craft in that like you have to shift or you right click and stuff like that in order to pick things up. Dude, I know this it's this is wild, isn't it? If you are interested in inventing the universe, uh, say perhaps with your friends, then you could grab 
a Minecraft server from our server hosting sponsor, Apex Hosting, and use code Captain Sparkles to get 25% off your first month. And then you can cooperatively invent the universe and play Universe IO together, or vanilla Minecraft, or another mod packer. Whatever floats your goat. But yeah, look at us, dude. This is crazy. I am just like big banging. I am big banging here. So if I do this, what did it say that it wanted me to make? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta, we gotta do the protons, and we gotta do. Hold on, what was it again? Oh, we already got all this freaking stuff. <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> Never say big banging ever again. There. I've said it. All right, so we got all this stuff. We need to get neutrons and we need to get protons. And then we need to get up quarks and electrons, but we've already gotten those. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. There. Neutron. Bada bing, bada boom. We get a stack of those. We get a bunch of protons. There we go. Pretty slick. And then from there, we can craft it into an atom. I'm gonna, the keybinds I'm gonna get very, very confused about. But there we go. Okay. So we have 51 atoms. Fantastic. And now we need to make, oh, well, let's look into this. Okay. In order to obtain an everythingness block, simply right click a nothingness block with a void harvester. Okay, so right click. Oh, and I can actually just harvest the nothingness instead of breaking it into its corresponding stuff. There's so many, do you think there's any Baker's Sun atoms in here? Or no? <laughs> Someone will get that reference. Um, JD Wakura, thank you for gifting a sub to Mobius M. Mobius. And um, what about this? Okay, so we lied. So, all the cards on the table. You did this to yourself. You're not an acolyte. You won't ever be a keeper, period. That was your entry into the trials. Complete this, and you will graduate as a guardian of our worlds. You accepted the call, but we never promised anything. But it has its own perks. Get to work. You need to prove everything before you're allowed anything. So am I, like, not actually making the universe? Am I making, they, like, put me into my own little sandbox? multiverse and they're like go knock yourself out and if you can build up this particular thing in the multiverse then you're good for all of them great probably something like that anyway uh i like how it gives me a bronze coin for doing something by just accepting what it tells me um okay so hydrogen how do we make the hydrogen let us see hydrogen i mean this is probably, this is probably hydrogen atoms, isn't it? I bet. Better freaking hydrogen atom. Oh, yeah, and that, yep, it is a hydrogen atom. Okay, just directly converts. We did that. And the next step is helium, which I wish it would just give me the JEI recipe when I, when I click rather than, you know, having to like look it up again. But now helium, helium, I think there's a little, little straw out of the bottom of the test tube. Like if you want to just drink some helium, high pitch your voice a wee bit, you can do that. Oh, here comes the Philosopher's Stone. So with the Philosopher's Stone, we can do nuclear fusion. That's very exciting. I mean, hey, all of you just build a Philosopher's Stone idiot uh, folks out there. Why don't you just do that to people on Earth, right? Why don't you just yell at people on Earth? Just build a Philosopher's Stone idiot, and then we could solve all our helium shortage problems because we do have helium shortages we do it's kind of a problem it's going to come to a head we're going to we're not be able to make lcds and stuff like that so anyway there we go nuclear fusion let's freaking do it uh and then the next step is lithium are we going is this just, it's it's one two three we're just going in order of atomic number right it's one two one two three i think it's just a one one two three how do we make lithium can you nuclear fusion into lithium it's just Oh, are we, we're just adding atomic numbers here. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Hydrogen plus hydrogen goes to helium plus a 
bonkers amount of energy. Indeed. It's like a very, it's a very exciting amount of energy that I, I do wish that we could make happen. It would be super awesome. There's our lithium. Should we make probably a little bit more? Maybe just a little bit more lithiums in case it gets used for other things or something like that. And next, beryllium. I think that's, it's number four right there. Yeah. It's number four. Okie dokie. Just gonna, guys, I think we're just gonna be, um, building out the periodic table of elements here for a little bit. Just going to do the whole thing all the way up to uranium, hopefully. And uh, it'll be great. Helium, helium, or lithium, hydrogen. Yeah, I'm sure you can just do that. Just smack them together and add up the numbers, and then bada-bing, bada-boom. You just get the get a perfectly good beryllium. Um, okay, so double helium. Let's send it into a double helium mix. And then should we do a multiple? Should we do two beryllium's maybe just in case we need two of them? How high up are we going? <laughs> there we go to boron. I hope this isn't getting boring, boring to you. But it's essential that we must do this, okay? And what are we going to do? A lithium and helium. Just add the numbers up. Or beryllium and hydrogen. Okay, what do we do? Just a quick lithium and... Yeah, that's a, it is a lot of steps for apple pie, but who said inventing the universe would be easy? I don't think anybody did, honestly. There we go. Some boron nuclear fusion at its finest. And then, oh, okay, cool, cool. Swick. We don't need to keep going any higher. Fundamental forces. Right-click yourself to talk gravity on and off for yourself. Shift. Right-click to set the gravity for nearby entities. All right. So gravity, gravity is... Oh, lithium, beryllium, and boron. This is how you make gravity. You know, gravity is one of the big mysteries of the universe in terms of the super-duper specificity of how it all works, but they solved it. You just take a lithium, boron, and beryllium, you put them together, and bada-bing, bada-boom. You got gravity. You do need gravity to make the apples fall and hit you in the head, and that's the only way they can get apples to bake apple pie. It all makes sense. So you go, gravity disabled. Oh, can I just go forever? Not entirely forever. Gravity hasn't been entirely disabled. Only a little bit disabled. And then gravity enabled. Oh, normal gravity. I mean, that's kind of cool. And then wee. Oh, is this going to hurt? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a god. I'm making the universe. <laughs> there is no fall damage. Okay, do I need to get more stuff? I feel like, I just feel like mining more of the stuff. Instead of sky block, we are playing universe block. How am I moving? I'm on nothing. Because I am a god. I'm creating the universe. I could make and do whatever I want with my nothingness. Every time I swing my void pickaxe, I create a little big bang. A little big bang in front of me, and it just goes kaboom and kablamo. And we make things happen. Oh. Well, oh, there goes all the... Can't make any more neutrons. I feel like maybe I should just stock up a little bit on some more of this stuff. Just to have it. Just a little bit more. Just a wee bit, you know? Aren't I creating a planet, not the universe? This is the universe. The universe is here, Okay but I'm also creating it at the same time. It might already be here, but I'm simultaneously creating it and it's already here at the same time. Which, honestly, in my book, is kind of like what it sounds like when people are explaining the Big Bang. I'm just like, yeah, but didn't this stuff have to be there? Like, how could it have not been there? And then the Big Bang, and then it was there. You know? Like, how did the stuff just happen if there was nothing... It's very hard to understand, it's very hard to comprehend the concept of nothingness, which is probably one of the more limiting factors of the whole discussion when you're a person and you can't really imagine nothingness, you know? But anyway, um, good times, good times all around. You had to be there for the Big Bang. You really, you had to just be there. So, anywho, <laughs> uh, what's next on the agenda? Oh yeah, we got Earth and we got stars and freaking gnarliness so we gotta we gotta create earth as as part of our universe you know fomo for the big bang exactly bro i'm so bummed that i just wasn't able to make it i just like 
didn't get an invite, bro. I just didn't get an invite. It's such a shame. Always they always keep me out of everything. Okay, we gotta take the hydro yen and the heliums, and then we we combine those with the gravity, and then we get a star, dude. All right, here we go. Boom. Hydro yen. Maybe maybe make maybe make a few of them. Maybe like four, something like that. And then boom 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 boom. That's that's not helium. I need these heliums. What did I do wrong? Did I mix them up? What did I do wrong? What did you do? What? Oh, it's gravity. It's gravity, not the philosopher's stone. There we go. Of course, the stars don't stack on top of each other. That would just be silly, wouldn't it? Should we get more helium? I think perhaps it would be a good idea, yeah? And a little bit more helium there. Maybe one more helium while we're at it, you know? And then we can do... Do we want more stars? Well, let's hold on. So, stars. Right-click to unleash a supernova. Oh, ye oh God, I didn't, well, uh, give me, give me, give me. Oh, no, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Um, I'm, 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 gravity, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. Cosmic dust, not your regular dust. Uh, and then wait, what was it for the earth? We need some stuff. We need some stuff. Oh, that's how we get some stuff. That is how we get the stuff. Okay. My inventory is just big frickage at the moment. You would think for someone who is inventing the universe, uh, you would have a lot of storage space. Do I need to learn about squirt guns and advanced peripherals and hex notebooks? I am going to guess that I can get these again if I need it. Same with everything this which comes from nothingness, which is kind of weird and contradictory, but here we are. And, uh, uh, you know, we can get a lot of this stuff over again if we need to. It's not too big of a deal, probably, hopefully, maybe, but I don't know. Um, okay, goodbye. Look at it. Look at it just floating out into the void. Crazy. Yeet! Big Bang didn't start with nothing. It started with everything. Oh my god, that's crazy. How much uh, do we have? Do we have all the? Do we have all the Earth? Do we have the Earth stuff? I need magnesium. Okay, surely this star will get me the magnesium that I need in order to make the Earth. Gimme, 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 gimme. Come on, magnesium. Oh, we got a magnesium, let's go! Bro, I am about to actually just make the earth. Holy frick, this is crazy. I just made, or what is this? Gravity, universal. Bro, in the palm of my hands, with atoms and quarks and gluons and bluons and dugongs floating through space in the background, I have made it. Look at that. That looks to be South America and North America. How incredible. Multiple South Americas and North Americas on every side of the planet. An interesting continental shape has happened. I can truly see my house from here because my house is everywhere. I am the universe. I, oh god, not this again. Oh god, please stop. Oh dear, oh dear. I just ground pounded the earth. <laughs> but the earth is very resilient. That's so good of it to be that resilient. Hey, should we go to earth? Is that, oh, that does work, okay. Wow. I made this. Also, it's, the Earth is on Earth with Earth in the sky. I think I I may have made too many Earths. <laughs> it's Earthception. Also, Earth is looking very f flat today. Um, but I assure you, it is it is simply a factor of 
the horizon being so vast that you simply cannot see the curvature of the uh, whole thing. So anyway, I did the I did the stuff. I made it. Right click to go to Earth. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. Oh, there is a new chapter that has just unlocked. Oh, it's probably because I Goomba stomped it. The Earth, it had a chance to be a, a beautiful spherical place, and then I Goomba stomped it. <laughs> and now it's flat. I pancaked it. <laughs> oh, man. My, my poor creation. Cellulose enriched. Obtain any log. Beacon of warmth. Craft a campfire. Obtain a clay ball. Obtain cobblestone. Magical petals. And my inventory is is fricked. Okay, so can I... I can go back and forth, I think, right? Like, if I do that. Yeah. Okay, so. So. Should I... I should, like, TVA uh, temp pad in here. That'll be awesome. Okay, watch this. Watch this. So we temp pad. We go... Run program, create new location, earth spawn, and add location. And now, like if I go running, right? And can I just turn off the gravity here? Bro, I can turn off the gravity on earth. Holy frick. Wait, and then it said shift right click to like switch animal gravity. If I come over to the... I thought it said shift right click. Well, anyway, uh, I'll figure that out well later. Okay, but if I go far away, and then I go, run program, earth spawn, teleport. Oh my God, look at, oh my God, it's so cool. That is so freaking cool. Wait, should I click in the air? Is that a thing? Is it not on the animal itself? Or was it a left click? Was it a, was it a punch kind of action? Anyway. Let's go, speaking of punching, uh, punch a tree. Because apparently I I may be the creator of the Earth and the universe, but I still have to punch the tree. So, here we go. Okay. All right. Gotta keep punching the tree. I got an apple pie for the you. Oh, frick. My inventory is very full right now. Um, okay. Idea. Make chest right now. And then put stuff in it. And then come back. All right. Run program, earth spawn, and teleport. I guess the real question, though, is like, do I? Okay, so it's over there. Do I set up things here, or do I do it in the void, in the nothingness? You know, like what is, what is the play? Where do I establish a home? And then I run back over. Can't I store everything in the Philosopher's Stone? Wouldn't that be convenient? That would be so nice. Shadows Knight, thank you for the 15 months. Very much appreciated. By the way, did I mention? Make sure that you are subscribed to Captain Sparkles 2 and help us reach our target goal of one bajillion subscribers. 2024 is going to be our year, so make sure to help us hit it in 2023. Um, let's freaking go. Run program. Earth spawn. Teleport. I love this. This is the coolest. What a cool mod. Absolute slickest thing I have ever done did see. Um, oh, we got we got little bots happening here. What a bum bum. What a bum bum. I saw a thing on Twitter earlier today about how Twitch is collaborating. I'm giving them the promo by saying this, so that's probably, you know, 
why am I? Well, you know what? No, Twitch is collaborating with an unnamed brand <laughs> and said unnamed brand is going to have their Twitch account like, oh, wait, the, oh, the crafting table is cool, by the way. Um, that unnamed brand is going to have their Twitch account. Oh, it keeps the stuff. That's pretty sick. Crawling people's channels, listening for its name to, like, be mentioned by someone in chats. And at which point it will suddenly appear and type in a sponsored message from its Twitch account in that person's chats. Uh, all obviously, like, not having the, the permission or the opt-in of the person who's actually streaming, but it is, like, Twitch is helping run this and is therefore endorsing it. But, yeah, it's it just seems like a little bit of a uh, kind of a strange thing. There was another unnamed brand that did a thing where they were donating bits, like, a year or two ago, and in their bit message, they were doing a sponsored thing and in a lot of people's that would do a text-to-speech kind of situation and so it kind of felt like that but that was without twitch's approval right this is like twitch having a, a part of it which felt kind of weird kind of weird i i bet you after this is all kind of backlashed on twitter they're probably reconsidering the whole thing but it does seem strange that they wouldn't have perhaps you know thought uh you know maybe that's maybe it's kind of a weird one but anyway, oh yeah, I should plant some saplings, shouldn't I? The tree, uh, the treeage is a little bit sparse around these parts, huh? Let's get, let's get some treeage going. I guess we can, yeah, we're probably gonna want to plant some stuff too at some point. Okay, cool. Oh god, now the fact that someone has mentioned it in the chat means it's, <laughs> it's probably gonna appear out of nowhere. Oh no, oh no, oh god, oh frick, oh goodness gracious. Uh, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Grow some trees nearby, you know? Okie dokie, okie dokie, artichokey. Uh, I guess this is going to be an agriculture chest or something like that. Wish we could twerk for trees. Wouldn't that be cool? It would be cool. <laughs> this is my universe! When I say something, it happens. I was just testing you. You needed, you should have known this. Oh, this is gonna take a few jumps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one sec. I, I can, I can, yeah, I bet I can use this pickaxe, right? Hold on, um, hold on. Can I, can I do, uh, what if I do, what if I did a little thing here? Everybody a little thing. We're gonna need a little bit of efficiency, right? I bet you I can get some cobblestone. If I if this thing can break nothingness, I bet it can also break somethingness, you know? Don't you think? I mean, also if I say it is to be, then it is to be. So absolutely. There we go. We got ourselves some cobblestone entering the Stone Age, Earth's rocky flesh, which I have created and forged from the stardust that was presented to me in the nothingness. Shadows Knight, thank you for the 15 months of subage. And Lumilace Ambrosia, thank you for the sub. It is good to have you on board. Just get diamonds? No, you see, that would be using my powers to make it too easy. And I am using my powers to challenge myself. Also, if I just created diamonds out of thin air, that would be inflationary, and then diamonds would lose their value. We need diamonds to retain their value. They are, after all, a hard lump of carbon, and that, therefore, is very important to society, and I can't upset society. Here we go. All right, this is going to be big, big logs, big logs. There is no economy system. This is my universe. My universe has an economy. An economy of one. Oh, I didn't realize I hit 24. That's a lot of logs right there. Heck yeah. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go around picking everything up and in going around picking everything up. I'm twerking more trees down. Uh, it is going to be a never-ending cycle of <laughs> picking up, and as I pick up, I twerk. Oh, it's the greatest universe that ever was. Just the best universe of all time. There it goes again. It's gonna be a 12 chopper. A 12 chopper for 20 is not nearly as effective as a 24 chopper for 80. So, okay, it's becoming nighttime. So they said that, wait, uh, is there a way for me to get shears? Because, oh, I could use some shears right now, couldn't I? Right about meow. So I could get a, uh oh. Okay, so I might be an all powerful, almighty being, but I'm not entirely sure how to handle the current hostile mob situation. Uh, oh, you're right. I do have, I do have FE. I've got some Effie at my disposal, but can I synthesize anything with it is the question. I'm going to go here. Balls. I just placed a large log next to my uh, earth. Oh, it's still floating over here. That's pretty cool. Is there anything, if I take some Effie, some iron, is it listed as, so this is iron despite the Effie, and I, is there a way to just make iron? That's kind of cool, actually, but what about an iron ingot? No, no, medium covalence dust, earth, obviously it's part of that, oh, I might need, fan oh, I need a compactor, it goes to iron dust, it goes to an iron ingot. Well, what other, uh, iron dust transmutation from copper with, st yeah, okay, so, what I don't actually know is if there is uh, anything, caves, ores, so on and so forth, at all underneath the dirt. Anyway, we should continue to look in here. So what have we got? We need to make a campfire. We need to make sticks, planks we've already done, um, slabs. All right, easy enough. I think I can manage that. I could also create a, I don't know, an alternative place of home and existence here in the nothingness. Might as well. Might as well, just to... Chest. While, th while things are bad, does time pass in the overworld while I'm here? That's the question. Okay, hold on. So, Moonid. Oh, no, 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 no. I am. I created you! Yeah, string's actually probably helpful. He met his maker. You know? He did meet his maker. So, yeah. It's kind of crazy. All right. I don't know why I made that guy. Why did I make that guy? I must have blacked out. I don't have a good memory. Like, that that just seems counterproductive. Why did I make any of that stuff? Why did I make bad guys? That it hurt me. That's really dumb. I should... I should reconsider. Also, I didn't really... You know, I don't want to eat the apples that I'm kind of reserving for the apple pie. Uh... But anyway, so how about some of those slabberinos? There we go. And we got that. That's so cool. That's awesome. A little bit of that. Wait, oh, God. Things are going to get so separate. I'm not going to know where things are. But let me just check. Back in the overworld. Has the moon moved? I think it did. I think time passed here while I was in nothingness. No, no. It would be inflationary on the food environment if I could just snap my fingers and produce food out of thin air. So that's why I like not to do it, because my economy is very important. So, anyway. Um, what do we need? What do we need? So, we got ourselves some uh, campfire. Campfire. How am I going to get... Wait, how do I get the uh, coal to go into this uh, bad boy here? Well, I suppose I should probably just make a furnace. Wait, I have cobblestone. Yes. New. What? Compressed stone. Huh? Okay. Uh, I don't know what. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Why did I, uh, why did I do that one? Why did I, why did I, why did I put that in play for myself? That seemed, that's weird, that was a weird decision that I made 
when I engineered this universe to, to do that one. Um, well, I mean, wait, let's see. Uh oh, I see what has to be done now. I see what we must do. Oh boy. Well, that means that there's bound to be some really, like, interesting other things that we can do with the other atoms. And Yeah, can we make diamonds with, with carbon? If we can't, then that seems very unscientific. Uh, how diamond pregnant? Oh, there's a diamond. Why is, like, dude, just diamond does not show up here in JEI, which is very weird. Mana diamond. Take a diamond, but then you... Graphite dust. Okay, you can compact graphite dust, which is graphite, which is C4, which is kaboom, which is... Very interesting. Very... Very interesting what we're seeing here in this area. So here's the thing. I got to go get my stuff. Nobody, 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 nobody. Why did I make these terrible things? Carbon, carbon, carbon. Retreat to safety! God. I'm a god. Why am I so scared? So weird, dude. Okay, so if we did this like that, and then we did that, and we did... Do I want to make multiple... I don't know if I want to make multiple. I'll make multiple. We might want torches, so might not be the worst idea in the world. How difficult is the transmutation thing? Uh, we have the Philosopher's Stone, so the just build a Philosopher's Stone, like, that's out the window. Now we got to move on to the next step, which is, why don't I just make Infinity MC? Like, I should just have Infinity MC. Uh, honestly, what I should do, though, is I should also swing. You love a good swing here and there. You do love a good swing. Okay, so we got coal. We got that. I can make it campfire, right? Campfire, campfire, campfire. Bada bing, bada boom. We got a campfire. Do you think that the campfire will function in the vacuum void of nothingness? Let's find out. The advancement bonfire lit doesn't seem to apply here. Now... Campfire is usually placed down lit, right? Like, that's a first fire. It does say we have to make fire six, though. Is this is this a specific thing for here? Or do campfires not work in the vacuumness of uh, vacuums? Ah, that's an easy recipe. Okay, let's see. Haha. I did invent the universe, so... If I say that fire is going to work within the vacuum of the nothingness, then it's going to work. Okay? Because I said so is the reason why. Exactly. If I say that sound is going to work in the vacuum of nothingness, it will because I said so. You hear that? You hear that? You can hear the fire that is operating in the vacuum of space. This is because I am all-powerful. But it's not hurting my economy. That's why I'm allowed to do this. I've allowed myself, I should say. So, anyway. Um, what do we do? So, actually, now I'm curious. Can we cook? Can we charcoal you up? Oh, I think we can charcoal you up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that was, that was quick as frick. That was quick as frick and just as slick. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, it just pops off charcoal. How am I being hurt by my vacuum space fire? I guess that's probably the one drawback of vacuuming space fire is it's very powerful, powerful enough to burn the god. So, anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, Rye Monster, thank you for 20 months, and Tosh is the one. Thank you for gifting a sub. Very much appreciated. So next up on the agenda, we have... Does it keep going out? It keeps going out time and after time. Oh my god. Hopping hilarity. Wooden hopper. 
storage drawer. By the way, is it daytime yet? It is! What a nice place. Oh, they seem to be on, on fire. If only my campfires could emulate them. Uh, creepers. i not entirely sure why I made those. That seems like a serious oversight mistake. But what can I do? They're here. And they're ready to rock and roll. So, anyway, that said, um, <laughs> let's make a wooden hopper. A wooden hopper, it is just with... Thought someone was walking over to me and it was going to get bad. All right, there we go, wooden hopper, big place. That count, that counts. And then we got to make ourselves a storage drawer. Now, we will eventually get an ME system going or refined storage or whatever it's going to be here. But, um, what, are, wait, what? Living wood? You need living wood for a storage freaking drawer? Or are you pulling my leg here? Hmm? Are you pulling my leg here? Let me see. If we do that, and we do that. Oh, there we go. Why does this not show up in JEI? What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why, why are so like diamonds? Diamonds and storage drawers are showing up. Why did I? This, this is an oversight. This is a bug. I think I've found a bug in my universe, and I am not particularly technical. So I don't know how much I can help myself on this one. Composter. Why did it say composter and chill? Composter. Barely newer. Okay, there we go. And uh, all right, we are tackling these challenges how do i get clay oh i bet that's like silicon or something like that like we can get it with mana infusion of a clay well how do i get the yeah i get it i get it it takes clay how do i get there in the first place i don't have a compactor for kaolinite huh cutting board okay what the frick uh oh it can be found while mining It's a good one. It's a good one right there. It's pretty good. Okay, obtain bone meal. Um, I up until that point, I I didn't yet create reading in my universe. Um, so you'll have to excuse me. I decided to suddenly start start inventing it though. Um, so oh wait, I should have a wood chest full of wood and other wooden related things. <laughs> ah. If you wish to read a book, first you must invent the universe, and then you must invent reading. And I hadn't gotten around to that step yet. It was an important one, though. I'm glad I got to it. So, okay. Let me just, real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump out these cosmic dusty poos real quick here. Just get whatever else. Ooh, new stuff. Ooh, new stuff. Nitrogen, that's an important one. Like, gotta have that in the, you know, it's very important. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Good to go. Good to go. Oh, oxygen, that's another pretty important one. Yeah, we're going to end up needing to do a little bit of chest sorting out action. But anyway, magical petals. Let's see. I'm sure that we can find some Batania boyos sitting around here without too much issue. Right? Right? Yeah, that's, I keep trying to zoom in, but I, I haven't added zoom into my universe yet. I might add that in like next time or something. I'll take some arrows. Uh, mystical red flowers, let's go. Sky of beginning. Uh, any other, any of the uh, thing? I, I got no food left. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is the best way for me to get hold of uh, shears for sheep shearing? I'd prefer to not destroy the sheep, since they seem to be in pretty limited quantities. Um, let me see. Shear, 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 shear. Oh, there's different kinds of shears. Hold on. Uh, red matter shears. Cool. We can just pick those dark matter shears. Easy. Just pick those up real quick. You know, no problem. A few of those bad boys. You know, just get a red matter real quick. Dark matter, eternalist fuel, and Mobius fuel, and just need a lot of coal, actually, at the end of the day, is really all it is. Ceramic shears. Ceramic shears part. 
Clay shears part. Oh, okay. You know what? Clay it is. Let's go digging for clay. Um, what fuel? Mobius fuel. Well, now everyone is thinking about Mobius from the TVA, and they're like, using him as fuel? That sounds kind of morbid, but it's not. It's Mobid. So anyway, um, how do I... I might need to just reincarnate myself really quickly because I am, uh, you know, a god. And so, therefore, I will come back with no need for hunger, you know? Actually, I should use some of those uh, charcoals in order to get some torchy poos. <laughs> I haven't invented comedy yet. You're right. That's why... That's why it wasn't funny, because <laughs> comedy isn't here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, wait, oh, I should bring down a crafting table, maybe. Where do we think that we would find, uh... Oh, there's gravel, okay, okay, this is good, this is good. I wonder if there exists some iron every now and again, little pockets here and there. That's that's how I would have probably tried to make the world, but I was considering the economy when this was all happening, so. What happens when my void man runs out? I don't know. Hey, look at that. There we go. This is going to be very helpful to us in our pursuit of the continued expansion of the universe, which will probably happen with or without my doing it. It's one of the flaws, actually. All the other folks, they keep, you know, designing their, their universes and, in, in, you know, each multiverse kind of deal. And, uh, and their universes, they just keep expanding. Infinitely. And they haven't been able to solve that one, all the, all the different designers of every universe in the multiverse. It's, it's still the one little thing that has eluded them all. All their universes keep expanding and expanding, and eventually, they will all see a heat death at the end of time. You know? But me. Maybe I'll figure this one out. Maybe I can figure this one out, and everything will be better for it. Oh, yeah, there is vein mine. Oh, my God. There we go. What am I doing in my life? I'm such an idiot. Oopsie daisies. I even set it up in advance, and yet here we are looking like a fool with someone being like, oh, my God, use vein mine. All right. Bro, we're going to get so many shears. It's not even funny. Okay, so that is that, and that is that. There's clay shears part, and then what do I do with the ceramic? Oh, I can campfire them up, though! Okay, I need to make a new campfire, I guess. So let's just do that, and then grab uh, one of these, uh, I suppose, and to make ourselves almost clicked on the earth <laughs> to try to do a crafting recipe. Which wouldn't have been, like, wrong, just would have taken me elsewhere. God dang, this silly thing! And then... Yes, perfect. How is Earth on Earth? I don't know if I touch the ground right now, right? That's Earth on Earth. In it? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Anyway, hello, sheeples. I am really hungry. Really hungry. Uh, how much wool? Nice. That is enough for a bed. Okay, now I'm really curious, though. I really want to see how the bed works. If it is, a, it could be a daytime thing. It's just. It's just terraria beddage, basically, or something like that. I don't know. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Wait, did the campfire give a, re oh, it does give regen. It's like Fortnite. <laughs> All right. It's like that one game with that dude named Eminem in it. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it does just go vroom. <gasps> what the frick? 
Oh my god, why? Bruh. That was, like, the most unacceptable thing I've ever experienced in the entirety of my existence. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't crit? I haven't invented critting yet? Uh, 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 this is the worst. Well, at least I get food from you guys, right? Oh my god, why have I done this? Why have I done this? Holy freaking balls. And there's, oh, I created a spawn zone under the trees. Oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Torches, I must put them down. I put a torch on earth. That's the world's biggest torch. Uh, why can't I invent critting yet? Don't know why I haven't invented critting. This is the worst. I'm not dead yet, and now I can really <laughs> replenish my food. It's gonna be really embarrassing if I end up dying to the creatures that I have created. That's just not gonna be a good look. They're not gonna fear me anymore, and they're gonna like be even more emboldened to continue doing this. So, like, it's kind of important that I do not die to them. We really don't want to set a bad precedent. You know? Um, by the way, oh, I don't have water yet. I was like, hey, I should plant some seeds. Oh, yeah, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Um, okay. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more healthy poo going on here. So, uh, anyway, about that. About that sleepy done. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> I was not ready for that one. <laughs> Why did I invent death, man? That was such a dumb idea. That was such a dumb idea. One of the worst dumb ideas I've ever seen. Uh. So anyway, my, uh, there we go. There's my coins. Um. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time for me to invent houses. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at least I, I invented graves to go along with dying, because I am respectful. Um, here we go. Here we go. It is time for me to invent the house. What a, what a great... Should I put earth inside the house? I'm going to put earth inside the house it's gonna be awesome all right you check it out check it out also i need to make a new shovel okay here we go Brick. you this mother trucker dude i'm this is gonna be i mean it's a mansion Biggest mansion of all time that ever did did be. All right, check it out. Oh my god, I actually ooh, I earned a level. Uh, click here if you want to access the GUI to increase one of your perk. I would love to. I would love to. I can't, I'm so happy I made this tool for myself so that I could increase my perks. Okay, I wanna I wanna put Earth on like a pedestal in the house though, so we can appreciate it. Like so, it'll be like this. You know, and then the actual floor of the house will be one level below it, and it'll be kind of like surrounded by stairs. It's going to be a mansion that that stretches thousands of miles into outer space to encompass the Earth. Actually kind of crazy. A, fe a true feat of engineering, you know. I haven't invented Hermitcraft yet, but... When I do, people will be like, wow, that's... They do pretty impressive stuff. And meanwhile, they won't realize just 
how impressive my house is that's that's literally the size of the universe. Actually, I should, you know what? I'm going to bring it in a little bit. I'm going to actually just make it so the stairs are kind of the pedestal out from the center. I'm going to make it, yeah, so just, you know, in the center of the stairs. It's probably, it's probably better. Probably better that way. It's going to be an easier, easier situation to deal with. Oh, yeah, vein miner. That's, I forgot about, I, I have invented that, but I totally forgot about inventing it. So, that's really my bad right there. Okay, so that is my earth pedestal at the center of the house. I wonder if I can, wait, so if I do, hold on, like a shapeless... Small tunnel, small square, mining seven blocks. Wait, and then I do like that. Okay, wait, I can... Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. I invented this. Look at this invention that I've just done. That's an incredible invention right there. And then we can put down all of these here. Maybe slabberino them up. You know, be efficient. This is not a pit. This is a gigantic Dyson cube around the Earth, which is flat because I Goomba, Goomba stomped it accidentally. I just invented Goombas. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's uh, just an incredible monumental milestone and then I can just do that and then we can expand it we can expand it even further oh my god incredible look at this look at this uh right there okay and then my shovel's gonna break balls but it'd be too big of a strain on the economy if I made the shovel indestructible already you know No, don't do that. That'd be bad. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, hold on, let me just add, like, a little bit more. A little bit more. I don't like the fact that it's not including the grass, but it is a different type, and it is a vein mine and everything like that, so it kind of makes sense. At least it should be consistent. Okay, here we go. And also, I've definitely not made my life more difficult by creating a sunken floor for my house actually probably a good idea is like we bring this we bring this up here yeah we're gonna bring this up well it's gonna be weird to have it like no i'll just do it here So yeah, I mean this is a this is pretty cool. As far as houses go, uh this is a pretty good one. Because the only one I just invented houses, so this is what it looks like. Um Should I place a torch on top of Earth? In place Oh god. I'm going back now. Hey, nothingness. It's been a while. I'm really sorry. I hope I have hope you haven't felt like I've been ignoring you or anything, all the glue ons and Buons and electrons and protons and stuff like that. I'm gonna go now. No, 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 but don't worry. There will be... I just haven't invented walls yet. The definition of a house is, is in flux. It will change. It will change to include walls and, and floors that are extending further than this floor. And, you know, there's a lot of things. A lot of things to consider here in this particular house. But in any case, magical petals. I think if we just throw these into here, we get magical petals, right? So that's something good. Oh boy. Smoother rock. Why is there simply a check mark that says smoother rock? Okay. Um, AKA stone. Um, what are our options? We can smelt it. But not in a campfire, I guess. Oh, wait. Can we do that? World transmutation. World transmutation. 
click in world, shift click for second output. Wow. What the frick? Wait. That's cool, other than the part where I don't know how to get it back. <laughs> that doesn't help me a great deal, does it now? Um, yeah, now it's this way, and I, <laughs> I can't get it. Okay. Um, right on. No problem. I thought this one through very, very thoroughly. Should we? What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, pure daisy. We Oh, we probably could. How do we do it? Ah, white petals. Petal apothecary, which is, ah, cobble. That's probably the way that we're supposed to get it going. Mmm, there we are. Oh, man, already getting started on, I just invented uh, Batania. This is so cool, dude. This is awesome. Where should we do this? How about right over here is where we will invent continued things with Batania, but that does mean I need to find white flowers, and I'm lacking somewhat in the ability to move far distances. Um, hmm. Unless there is any other... Wait. That's the in-world transmutation. Is there any other way to acquire the pure daisies? No. Okay. Oh, but wait a minute. Can we... Do we get any I would need the floral fertilizer, and that's a whole other thing. So, I just have to hope I run into some mystical white flowers. In the meantime, I should probably start acquiring others. Uh, you know? On the plus side, no matter how far away I walk, I can use the temp pad from the TVA that I invented in order to get back very quickly. So, I shouldn't actually be that concerned. Actually, you're right. Turn the gravity on. Yeet! Gives me good viewpoints of everything, too. Although I do feel quite slow. I should invent increased speed. Wee! Okay, I'm seeing a lot of different. Oh, there's the. There, there. I see them. I think those are white ones and not gray ones. Please, fingies crossed. Big fingies crossed. Go, 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 go. Is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. I don't want to use them all, though, because we definitely want to have some leftovers, right? Hello, are you a white? Yes, you're a white flower. Okay, exactly what I was looking for. Very exciting. Now, hopefully, we can make more where that came from. Yes. Very good. Very nice. I continue. Uh, Jaller, thank you for the six months. Very much appreciated. Society. Indeed. That's what I'm creating here. I haven't invented society yet. But. It's due now any second. Dan Taylor, thank you for the two months. Much appreciated. Pretty swick. All right, shall we temp pad our way back home? I think we shall. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I love it. You love to see it, man. Okay, so from here we can make a pure daisy, right? Um, okay, I'm going to save one because I can't remember if... Can I, like, explain... Can I bone meal this, or does it have to be the floral fertilizer, or do I have to do the thing where I, like, place down the... I have to shear it. There's a whole shear thing as well that you can do in order to multiply them. It also does take bone meal, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, you plant the petals, and then you grow them, and then you shear them. That was some whole, whole thing. Wait, how do I get water? I just realized I need water. I don't have water yet. Uh, that seems like an important point. Um, H2 and O. Okay, that does make sense. What is this over here? A wooden water bucket. I can make the bucket, but how do I get the water? Uh, you'd think I would have considered inventing 
the water for this. Um, you know, let's well, let's take a quick look if we, you know, go into here. Oh, yep, yep, it does do, it does do, and then I can, oh, and then it does do. That is a very, very cool solution that I have invented. Incredible, even. Okay, wooden water bucket, and then in between, um, in between instances where I am, you know, resting from from my powers. Uh, I'm probably going to sort sort out, make more storage, things like that. Be more cosmically efficient so that this isn't all just a mess in this chest. Um, but for now, it just, you know, is the way that it be and stuff like that. So just throwing it out. Anyway, so uh, a couple hydrogens and an oxygen. And did you know, a little known fact, actually, they don't teach you about in school, which I'm going to invent in a bit. Uh, that a, an entire bucket of water actually is simply one atom. It's a single atom. Well, a molecule, I should say. It's three atoms. But a, but a one single molecule of water in, in the entire bucket. Pretty, pretty crazy, isn't it? Anyway, so now we do that. Oh, that's so cool. Look at us go. Boop. And then it was, uh, and then it was boom, boom, boom. Looks like I'm dropping tornadoes into a pond or something like that. <laughs> and then we go here, toss the seed in, and of course, we get a pure daisy. And then we can use that to convert the sh the stoof. Wait. And we do boom, 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 boop, 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 boop. boop. And this should do. I should just do an infinite water source. That would have been a more wise way to do it. But anyway, I think this is where we're going to wind down the first episode for I Must Rest. <laughs> uh, wait, I can't harvest this. Hold on. What is, what is my play here? Am I just trying to get the living living stone? Probably. Wait, smooth stone. What the frick? Oh, oh, wait. Did I, did I let it go too far? Well, that's living rock. I mean, that is necessary. I don't know if I let it go too far, or not, or something. What did it want me to have? I I did it. I say, oh, it does want me to get that. Cool. Well, I'm a little too scared to do that, so I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> I actually know what happens if you uh, sleep in a bed here, but we'll find out next time, perhaps. Anyway, make sure to like the video, um, and you know, one like for one universe. And subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more episodes. Follow on Twitch. And, of course, check out our sponsor, Apex Hosting. Use code Captain Sparkles to grab yourself a Minecraft server at 25% off your first month so that you can create your own universes with your friends. I'll see you next time.